Good evening. Look at that, the Hellenic day. My gosh, isn't that interesting? Paul got those, the teacher supply place, and got some overhead projection maps. Looks like it'd be nice to have. I'll be darned. That's the stone. Right. And there's the. Like projection, use the projections. projections. <laughs> Fancy. Tina's. I'm saying if it works. Trying to pull two off of the camera. Pretty nice. Wow, well, look at Paul tonight. You're probably what? Like record <laughs> and two recorders <laughs> off of the camera. Hi, Carol. Well, you guys are out of town. It's amazing, man. Oh, pardon me. Don't let me get oh, in the way there. Hi. Hey, that's all right. Get out here. <laughs> Where's Paul getting his itch? Where's Nancy? Where's the blackboard? The blackboard. I brought it back on Sunday. Where is it? I just, just, I just didn't. It's right outside the door. Well, that ought to be enough. Yeah, I think so. See, it started the first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it started the first of April. What are you doing this time? Juvenile satires. All them. Their poetry. In Greek prose composition. <laughs> you got your own hand. Okay, good. <coughs> Have you found the uh, <coughs> Greek style of writing sure in your own yet? <coughs> no. Okay. Read. That little book by Edith Allison, the Greek one. She has a comment there. Chapter on Greek writing. One of the things she says was, <coughs> you can find the influence of Greek. Go right ahead. Wait, do you Wait want minute, to? Gina will come out Gina. and say, what did you say? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I didn't even get that. I was reading it. <laughs> what did you say? Is you here or is you ain't? Is you is or is you ain't? Yes. So, what are you doing tonight? When you come in, we'll we'll tell you. Okay. You got any announcements for me, buddy? No. What's right. this thing? I missed the seminar. I don't know. Why? What are we announcing now? Is there something we've got to announce? We aren't announcing. He's announcing. He's announcing. What are you announcing? That's what they were waiting. Nancy's pregnant. No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Steve's friend. Coffee and You have to let me know what dialogue Why don't you come in here and zip your lips? Come on, sit down. Everybody bring Yeah, come here and sit down. Sit down. Which bus? The book that you want to get into. Oh, they're all in there. Any, any of them? We're all in there. We'll just go in there and do one. I had a call tonight from the Sitter Foundation. I couldn't make it to that coffee over at Nancy. Friday. And uh, I was rather curious because it was Siddha Ananda and she was relating a story to me. And this was the content of the talk. I just want to tell you that Shankar Ananda, who we know quite well over the years, and I gave a lecture at SYDA for, for him way back when, uh, convinced Malti, whose new name is Chad Balasananda, I believe. 
Chidsalananda, isn't it? Chidsalananda. Chidsalananda. Chidi. Yeah, yeah. Guru Mai. Guru Mai. That's better. Guru Mai. Guru Mai. That's what I call it. Okay. So Shankarananda had a talk with Guru Mai and said, the direction that they're going is very interesting, but he thought that they were not attracting a certain level of people, specifically from colleges, professors and students. And I said, well, it's maybe likely. Yeah. And she said that they agreed together that they would have a special talk. They would adapt any talk that they would give for our benefit. If, well, they will have a regular talk on, on certain nights. They have regular talks on certain nights. If they know we are coming, the Nordic Society is coming, oh. they would adapt it to meet the needs of the Nordic Society and Great. or and or That's professors great. and students from Golden West College. That's great. And UCLA. And UCLA. Now, I said, wait a minute. I said, let, let me, let me, let me tell you something. I said, do you people ever make transcripts of the talks? And she said, well, we used to do that long ago. I said, well, I don't know. I'll tell you what I think you should do. I think you should critique the talks that girl and I give. And I said, the reason for that is, I think, uh, she doesn't give enough weight to her conclusions. And therefore, when people want to see how you pull together the various parts, there's no final synthesis, and therefore you lose some of the impact of the development of the speech. And I said, really, you should you know, work with her and try to approach that. There's nothing wrong with the speech. It's just like all the particular conclusions are weak, and therefore there's no final no bottom line. pulling together in some intuition. And she said, oh, that's very interesting. Because I thought, you know, the best thing to do is to tell her we're rat quick, and then if they don't like us, they can drop us quick, they can t- change it, or whatever else. Yeah, <laughs> right. So, uh, because I said a group of us got together after the talk, and we enjoyed the talk, and we enjoyed her presentation, but it was weak in that respect. And if you're going to appeal to another group, I said, if you want some kind of interaction, that's the thing that's going to come up. She said, that's very good. I'll take that out. So I said, well, when are you thinking that it would be most appropriate for this thing to take off? She said, oh, we'll do it this Friday if you want. Or next Friday. I said, wait a minute. I can't move after that. I said, let me talk. I said, we're going to meet tonight, and uh, a bunch of us. And uh, let me see how many people are into it. And if we are, and a number of people are into it, and if we have any surplus from in our bank account, why don't we rent a bus like we did last time, and go and a whole bunch of us go down to the van, or, <laughs> you know, rent a bus and... How much fun was the How much fun was the last time we took a bus load? Anyone Should be. Huh? Should be in the book, huh? Yeah, sure, it's in the, in the book somewhere. Yeah. Got it. The Got check it. was written to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> we'll check the book. Yeah. So I, huh. I said, is there some way in which we can uh, yeah. take advantage of that situation? Well, she said, I guarantee you a front row. And you'll you'll be in the Darsha line as announced and have a direct relationship with Guru Mai. And from there, she said, it's up to you and her. I she said, I can't, I can't tell her to go beyond that. That's up to her. She said, if you want to play under those conditions. I said, that's good enough. That's good enough. So uh, she said, Guru Mai is very much interested in it. And, uh, That's it. Who's she? Guru Mai. Uh, oh, that, 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 that's Chid the last one. we're talking to. I was talking to Siddha Nanda. Remember, uh, what was her name before? Anne Cahalas. Anne Cahalas. Oh, Anne Cahalas. Yeah, she's now a full-fledged 
Swami, you know. Oh, very good. And she's she's the spokes lady for <coughs> Guru Mai. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. And she was relating to me a discussion that she had, that is to say Guru Mai had with uh, Shankarananda, in which they were discussing the need to bring into the group professors and students, but as the discussion went on, it turned out to be she would be much she'd just as happy to get the Noetic Society to come again. So, uh, pick it up from there. Uh, talk about it, and if a number of people want to do it, you can arrange it. Now, there's also a possibility of meeting with her in a small group that I've been told about. say a small group, I mean maybe 30 people or so. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> More than we have. <laughs> yeah, right. Numbers don't count. It's quality. Of course, we don't know how many simple intentions will be taken up. A few. So that's coming up, too. So, two occasions. What's happening with the second one is that she's meeting a small group of people in one day. She might tell me that that would be a great opportunity for some people, a small number of people who are really into wanting to meet her directly and related, that they'd include that group into that group. But that's, they're working on to see how many people physically they'll allow because it's a garage converted into a, a hall. It's up to them. So think about it, let me know. Well, I'm, I'm interested in both. That's what. So they just put me down. So is there yeah. a chance of four? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The Friday is in. All we have to do is tell them what Friday. <clears throat> and remember what they'll do. So whatever program they have, they'll adjust to the fact that we're there and try to explore philosophical issues more directly. Mm. I mm. said that's what you need. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. a couple of Fridays, three Fridays. Mm -hmm. The world is the way it is. I'd like to ask her about that. Does that mean perception and no. knowledge? Now, Rod knows some things about what is going on. With the look at that, I think. With, I the, with the SYD. I do. Yes, he does. Can I report for you? Yeah, please. No. <laughs> you may be the only one who can. <laughs> <laughs> there was a discussion in Santa Monica <clears throat> as to what the SYDA is doing and what direction it oh. proceeded. And Ann Cajalas was there. And as I remember Rob remarking, <laughs> that what they were trying to do was to come out with a philosophical work on Kashmir Shivism. Philosophical work. Yeah. A text. A text. A text. That would be a that would be is college it? amenable. Especially for yeah. a college amenable for colleges. And I said, you know, that's really interesting. And Rod mentioned the fact that uh Anthony Hollis said something about that. Well it went two steps. See you said See, you said Oh I was there, that's right. You, you pulled it out of it. Come on, there must be some work you got cooking in the back burner, huh? <laughs> what are you writing something? Huh? Guy said, well, yeah, I finally came around. Yeah, I come to thinking, but there is this text that the Swamis and I have been thinking about writing collectively together. And you said, well, if you could be of any help, give me a call. And she, tongue in cheek, you know, there was more in the, than the, there was, there was intonation as well as content to the delivery. <laughs> the delivery. She said, uh, yeah, I think they could use some. <laughs> so, so, so I don't know whether that's playing a role. Yeah. Why don't we prepare uh, four or five questions, give it to her way in advance, so that it's not a loaded type of thing, that she's got plenty of time to look at it, uh, and that we discuss those questions and only those questions, unless she says us their further questions. But sometimes I think people get the feeling, uh, you know, like everybody's there. Well, they said that they would make it uh, adapted to our needs, and those are our needs. And it seems to me that's quite legitimate. Yeah. I mean, we could think of some, get together, and sure. put them together, word sure. it well, 
we can give her a couple of weeks to to go over it, um, to get her thoughts together on it. And then at that way, we if there is reasoning, if there is understanding, mm -hmm. then, you know, that doesn't come together always instantly, uh, at least for me. And if she's got some time to go over the question, <coughs> then we can see under the best conditions, with the most time to prepare, exactly where Kashmir Shahism is today, and whether it's different from the text that we have had, right? Which I haven't really got to study, but I know the Noetic Society had done some work in Kashmir Shahism, hadn't they? Over at the Women's Center, didn't you do something? Yeah. <coughs> no, we can do it again. Yeah, why don't we do it again? What would you guys have? What Since I have, I was, I forgot. Me too. No, no, I had to be there to remember, but I was there, but I don't recall. Well, it had to be so I before 78, something like that, a few years ago. Yeah. We got to that state, we had to know, be in a knowing state and know you were knowing. Mm -hmm. Like that was... And the heavy hip dancing along. Yeah. No, I remember that. Good, good, good. That image is good, good, good. good, good. Was good wasn't it? I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was the jar. That was H. H. Luminous within. So is the idea that. Second hypothesis. Yes. Idea of the good. To go up Friday would would, would be to um, not have the opportunity to ask Tell questions us. because it's more of a. I mean, um, in. Except in the Darshan line, is would that is that fair to say? Because it's more of a public not talk, or would bill, there be not huh? what Bill just suggested? Okay, take those five questions and and ask her to respond to those Friday night, and then listen to it. That would be yeah. Give them to yeah. her in advance. Yeah, let her weave it in. If she wants, yeah. if she doesn't, we'll know something. We'll know. Why don't we just request it? Why don't we just right. request to get in a dialogue with her? <coughs> no, no, open this to a talk. You know. The heck with this pot shots. So I'm no good at that. You know? And when she goes off and doesn't start to answer the question. That's a question. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's a question. Why not a dialogue here? That'd be fun. I, I, if you, well, if you get in the talk there, let me know. I'll be happy yeah, to come along and listen. Yeah. You know, I, the pot shot, I can't do I'm not good at those one liners. Line on, so stuff that she. Clarated butter, probably. Yeah. Oh, so that's where it's at. So think about it. Great. Where it goes around. <coughs> well, we send her a letter from the secretary. You know, they send it to Barbara's the secretary. Barbara to tell him would be happy to accept. You know. So I'll tell you what. If you can put a, a, a piece of paper on the wall somewhere, people sign up if they want to go, and if they'd be willing to go by bus or whether they want to go by their own transportation, that will solve a great deal. Of okay. You're talking about Friday, like the third day? No. Neil, Neil, Neil. 25th, something like that. I can't even move. I'll stick over there. That's right. Let's try it. So. What do you say? We see what books you, uh, what dialogues you'd like to get into, or what works you'd like to get into. Okay, I've Damascus. Closed in Augustine. Right. No one's. That's yours. Right. I think Theotetus that'll... is yours. What do I, What do you want to do? I want to do law. The laws. Excuse me. The two laws. The two line laws. Going to laws. What did you say? Damascus. I think we have a hole in Damascus. A hole. Yeah, there's a Greek, critical Greek text coming out this year. Now, without the Greek, I don't want to get into Damascus again. Can't. Can't. It's coming out this year. Yeah, it's not worth it. That's right. Oh. Right. So I already, yeah, I've tried to get let's the Greek. Let's put that out. Let's do week. it as soon as it's out. Yeah. Okay. There's an opera on it? Yeah, it's coming out. Yeah, critical text. Great. So it'll be fun. It'll be really easy to match them up, too, if we know. Oh, boy, that's going to be a relief. Another Xerox page, cut and paste oh, job. Right. Oh. Good. Good. Rod? I brought, um, well, I got the Fido. What's the name of it? Fido. Oh. I brought the laws. Uh, the laws. I brought <coughs> the Amblicus. 
on the mysteries of the Egyptians, Chaldeans, and Assyrians. I've never read that. And about the uh, theology of Plato by Proclus. Mm. Well, well, zero. 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 What a banquet. Yeah. Bill? How about the Tibetan Book of the Dead? Oh, yeah. mm. And uh, the Theotetus. I have here and the Timaeus. Uh, Timaeus? Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in this idea of dying as we have developed in the Phaedo. And it's uh, the, the difference in sameness with uh, the state of enlightenment. Mm -hmm. That's the edition that has six forwards. Six forwards? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it takes a while before you get to the... Yeah, it's a hundred, let's see. It, the, it doesn't start until a hundred and some days. Ago. Sandy, yours, yours? I'm open because I've read so little. Okay. Me too. Sarah? Well, I'm kind of the same with Sandy. I didn't, uh, but if you smell something good over in your CI or gleam it on someone's desk, then it looks promising to let us know. Of course. Well, good, good, good. Nancy? Um, well, I, I was being interested in the Theotetus um, mm. until I found out that Kenny was doing an outside study on that. Well, we do yeah. it together. That would be good. You can do it. See that? No, I mean, we do it together. We can do it together. <laughs> That's what he <laughs> said. Do it together. <laughs> well, I mean, There's nothing wrong with this. <laughs> 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 That'd be good. <laughs> I'm not so how we're... Like, <laughs> can you just all bit off what I you have and whatever anybody decides, maybe I'll have it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Steve? The only book I brought that everybody else doesn't have is, is Lysistrata by Aristophanes. I don't think anybody wants it. <laughs> that's the only one I've got that's, that's new. I don't have any books. That's all. Mm. all right. Paul? Symposium. Symposium. Right. Babarovsky? Well, uh, I didn't bring the book because I don't have a copy, but mm. I was really interested in doing the study that you did with, of midwifery and. Oh. Mm -hmm. That, that, that. Mm -hmm. Well, that was supposed to have been brought in by uh, Carol. What? Yeah, didn't you say the last time? Well, we, we have the author of the work sitting right no, no. here? Yeah, but you were going to bring him on. You, had, you mentioned you had it on a certain machine. On tape. <laughs> so, it just may be the book. Well, I brought this one, being oh. the one. I brought this one. Turn it back to relax. Wow. <laughs> and I brought the Timaeus. And I brought the Phaedrus. Oh, are, are you familiar with the Phaedrus? No. Oh. And I brought the Theotetus. <laughs> and the Symposium. And the Wow. I'm in for a banquet. A <laughs> banquet. <laughs> and you're all. Remember the quote? Yeah. Throw us a coin up. I can. Right, is that what you said? Well, you know, I like to be a good study. I'd like to understand it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to do the study. So I hope you understand what? it. You wrote it, didn't you? No, I You're supposed to present it in a. In a me? Well, let's do do the study. Yeah. I'd love to. Well, should we get coffee so we can read it first? No. I mean, I, I mean, I, if I can read a study and gleam its insight from the text, you know, I can participate in a higher level. Either that or. Oh come on! <laughs> it's true. Sure. That's yeah. true. Yeah, I think that's I a good idea. To do the study. I would love to create the uh, study. Yeah. Anybody in a yes? Oh God. <laughs> uh, would you like to take your own time? You know. <laughs> the laws. Peter's laws. Mm -hmm. and, uh, there's, there's one that I mm -hmm. right I could add three to that, too. Um, just yeah, well, the, the laws and the favors yeah. and uh, symbolic distance. That you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that analogy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
almost brought the discourses of Rumi. I've never read the discourses of Rumi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I got a great edition of it. Too. Yeah. Who's Rumi? Rumi. Rumi. Who? Who is he? He's an Islamic, isn't he? Yeah, first. Sufi. Oh, Sufi. But it. Like a kindergarten. What? Like a kindergarten. So, um. And the lesser dialogues, too, I was thinking. Well, that's still Friday. Oh, okay. Tuesday. So, I made some of them. Okay. Well, what did you bring? Different goals. What did you bring? Yeah. What, what <laughs> are the different goals, Pierre? I, I don't know that I knew. Well, we agreed to go through a series of dialogues on Friday that we stated were classically derived from a list of, uh, that was titled Midwife Dialogues, and Midwife were sort of systematically going to be Friday. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing the obstetrics. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm sorry. I, I interrupted you just at the point yeah. where you were going to OBGY tell us what you brought. I'll do that. <laughs> Part time. Then. It hasn't been around all day. For what? I the list for some of it. It just hasn't been around here. Okay. Start it back around. Yeah, I don't think it's made the loop. That's what you're. Sign up. Well, I took. Uh, <laughs> April 26th, is that when we're thinking of it? That's a week from this Friday. Oh, when was it? What date? I thought, that was, I thought it was two now. weeks from this Friday. Two weeks? No, no right. one, May. One week? Why are we one. waiting? Well, because I thought I'd give the people in the college a shot, too. Oh, I see. Well, do you want to make see. it? Though it's a legal Friday. problem, you know, the crazy law they have over there. If I walk into a place where there are six students off campus, it's, it's my responsibility Blah, 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 blah. There's nobody here that's your student. That's great. When you're an state employee, man, look out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're on duty off the No one is smoking, no one is drinking, no one is smoking. How about a uh, couple weeks? And give yourself a chance, and if we want to do those questions, then give her a chance. Did you say you couldn't go on Tuesday? No, I'm What about in May? Oh. I'm I'm there, I'm I'm I promised to a conference in San Francisco on Tuesday. What about in May? I figured like in May. Anytime in May. Anytime in May. Like the other week. First week in May. Are you still doing good? I thought it was set or I was going to do it No, no. No, I have been. I've been for about two weeks. I've got the time. I drink a lot of time. What did you drink? I brought Latinus. Oh. I'll tell you what, what I did, I, I thought it would be fun to take a complete work of Latinus. And they were all broken up because Porphyry, when he broke them up, he arranged them, therefore, in, in his own sequence because he liked six and nine. And uh, what he did is he took the titles from the book for each one of the works from the first series of words in every section, and that became the title. Mm -hmm. And um, the work that Rod has been doing, I've been very envious of his freedom at this point. And, the time he's able to put into it. Uh, yes. and the love that he's getting into this great game of philosophy is really interesting. And it's a work I really enjoy. But the work that he chose was the intellect. To look at the problem of the intellect, nature of the intellect in the times. Like, so what's of the great sage? Well, Chronologically, 30, 31, 32, and 33 are the di are the works of Plotinus that fit together under one theme, the intellect, the nature of the intellect. Okay. And I have read several, I haven't read all four of them, as a unit. I've read them scattered, and I've never just taken those four together and seen how they all fit. 
Yeah. You know, and the I contemplation work is supposed to precede intellectual yes. beauty. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It deals with the relationship as of soul and matter, yeah. he says. Yeah. 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 That's taken us again. That's yeah. all about the intellect. Yeah. Four works. Right. And I just thought it would be nice to be able to just take all the four works together. Because that's the central problem between religion and philosophy, Platonic philosophy, philosophy, the goal of the intellect. Mm. In every Eastern system you get, or Western religion system you get into, that's the primary problem, problem of the intellect. Mm. Was it belief versus reason? Yeah. Or duty or law. Or okay. It's, it's 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 all the way up. It's it's even beyond dianoia. Right? It's, it's nestled, right? dianoia and the one, nested, nestled, not nestled, nestled. <laughs> it's a softer end. Snuggle, snuggle. <laughs> not with almonds <laughs> or almonds. That's yet another. Cut, cut it up with. Sounds good to me. Well, that sounds good. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh. Yes. Platonic? Platonic sometimes affects me like the oh. Parmenides. It's great. It's a real riddle. It's No, it's great. <laughs> oh, I uh, Why? you yeah. got to do it as a chunk, man. Really. Uh -huh. I read volume five this two weeks it took me. And uh, I, I, he's not hard. I don't understand, but he's not hard, you know. I mean, you can see the way the guy makes points. Mm -hmm. You can see the problems he's coming to grips with. You, you get a, an appreciation for uh, his, the way he thinks. And the distinctions the man makes are so beautiful. Yeah, the problem of self-knowing is a problem he poses for the intellect. How is it that one, someone in the same thing can be both the knowing and the known? Mm -hmm. How do you rationally understand something turning back on itself? Uh, it can't be separate than itself, he says. One part knowing another part, because that wouldn't be the same self knowing itself. It would be one self knowing another self. Right, so <laughs> how do you have it knowing itself? No, I mean, that's just, a, that's for openers, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It means you don't know it. I like the way you ask the question. Yeah, I, I guess it, it seems to me like it's just higher than insight, you know? Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> it's the source of insight, maybe, you know? Source of insight, that's what it is, too. If you can move right into the light there, it's a luminous, it's light, it's the way we've been talking about it. It's Usia, right? Mm -hmm. It's active, and that's a whole problem, isn't it? It's distinction between actuality and potentiality is caught up in that problem. Pure potentiality. Oh, and the soul is as matter to the intellect as matter is to the soul, right? The <laughs> intellect informs the soul, it's its matter. The whole problem of the trace, too, we're looking at the trace of the one in the intelligence, while well, the other way would be seeing the trace of the intelligence in the soul, right? It's going the other way. <laughs> the one is the traces of the, in the intellect, is the traces of the one. And body is in the soul. And soul is an intellect. Yeah. Concentric. Yeah. Good problem. Sounds like the analogy you worked out in the Phaedo. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, he hits the Phaedo. In the water, above the water. He hits the Phaedo. The up, the ether is, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Also the back of the vault of heaven, you know. Mm -hmm. He makes a distinction between the gods in the, in the heavens, right? He has that intellectual beauty and the ones outside. You know what we should do? <laughs> Why don't you read something out of land for this and uh focus? Anything? Well, you know, you're familiar with something. I'm not, that's why I brought it. How about the first paragraph in each word? Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't bring something I read. Whatever you brought, all right? First paragraph. <laughs> yeah, I brought like that. Well, this is the uh, uh, letter of a porphyry to an Egyptian, uh, an Ebo. 
So this is full free. It's not I am the whiskey? No, no. Is he talking about full free in here? No. I mean, I am with no. my confusion. Okay. I brought this because we're talking about the Egyptians today. Full free to the prophet and Nebo. Greeting. I commence my friendship towards you from the gods and good daemons, and from those philosophic disquisitions which have an affinity to these powers. Hmm. And concerning these particulars, indeed, much has been said by the Grecian philosophers. But for the most part, the principles of their belief are derived from conjecture. In the first place, therefore, it is granted that there are gods. But I inquire what the peculiarities are of each of the more excellent genre by which they are separated from each other, and whether we must say that the cause of the distinction between them is from their energies or their passive motions. And I bet that's a... I, I was going to get the Greek on this, so I'm sure that must be actuality and potentiality. <laughs> or from things that are consequent or from their different arrangement with respect to bodies. As, for instance, from the arrangement of the gods with reference to ethereal, but of daemons to... Aerial and of souls to terrestrial bodies. Daemons to aerial, I wonder what that is. Huh. That's the first that's the first paragraph. Good. About That's the theology problem. Mm -hmm. Theology of Plato, Book 1, Chapter 1. O Pericles, to me the most dearest of friends, I am of opinion that the whole philosophy of Plato was at first unfolded into light through the beneficent will of superior natures exhibiting the intellect concealed in them, and the truth subsisting together with beings, to souls conversant with generation, so far as it is lawful for them to participate of such supernatural and mighty good. And again, that afterwards, having received its perfection, returning, as it were, into itself, and becoming unapparent to many who profess to philosophize, and who earnestly desire to engage in the investigation of true being, it again advanced into light. But I particularly think that the mystic doctrine respecting divine concerns, which is purely established on a sacred foundation, and which perpetually subsists with the gods themselves, became thence apparent to such as are capable of enjoying it for a time through one man whom I should not err in calling the primary leader and hierophant of the true mysteries into which souls separated from terrestrial places are initiated, and of those entire and stable visions which those participate who genuinely embrace a happy and blessed life. But this philosophy shone forth at first from him so venerably and arcanely as if established in sacred temples and within their aided, I don't know that word, A-D-Y-T-A, -A. yeah, aided. And within their aid yet. Must be some part of a temple, maybe. As if established in sacred temples and within their aid yet. And being unknown to many who have entered into these holy places in certain orderly periods of time. You want to stop? No, I just, I just recognized the term. Oh, you did? You know? Yeah, you're right. Oh, okay. It's the uh, Holy of Holies in the temple. Mm hmm. <laughs> As if established in sacred temples and within their holiest of holies of the temple, and being unknown to many who have entered into these holy places in a certain orderly periods of time, proceeded as much as was possible for 
it into light through certain through certain priests and who embrace the life corresponding to the tradition of such mystic concerns. It appears likewise to me that the whole place became splendid and that illuminations of divine spectacles <laughs> everywhere presented themselves to view. That's the first paragraph. <laughs> okay. Sure. Or Carol, pick one. One of yours, want to read the first paragraph? Or any paragraph? Somebody else? Anyone else want to? I got the laws here. Good. That's good. About that. Good. Uh, Sam, you want to read those? No, no, no. Laws, book one, Ephesian. To whom do you ascribe the authorship of your legal arrangement, stranger? To a god or to some man? Clinius. To a god, stranger, most rightly to a god. We Cretans call Zeus our lawgiver. While in Lacedaemon, where our friend here has his home, I believe they claim Apollo is theirs. Is not that so? Megalus. Yes. Do you then, like Homer, say that Minos used to go every nine year to hold converse with his father Zeus, and that he was guided by his divine oracles in laying down the laws for your cities? So our people say, and it goes on. Good. Another? Do you want to pass me the study, Carol? I'm only the paragraph. Unless we're going to uh, save it for Friday to go along with the midwife, please. Uh huh. Well, I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, and I would say we're right in the, in the process of correcting a final, final correction. So it's not finished. I don't know. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. We'd like to make one last revision when we get off some criticism. Hold it off for a while. But I don't mind the opening paragraph to read, but I don't think that's going to change. It's a very modest beginning. <laughs> Man strives to. Oh, it's the other one. Yeah, it's the book. Right? But that's close. You can read the first part of that. His theory. Theory? He has a theory? Pierre's theory? This is great. I gotta hear Pierre's theory. <laughs> theory. <laughs> it's got all the marks of a theory on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a scientific study validating rational psychotherapy a form of rationalism, by using the methods of psychology, raises the question whether the historical separation of psychology from rationalism was justified. Certainly many believe that rational psychotherapy is, in principle, incapable of being empirically verified because the claims of rationalism transcend immediate experience. The scarcity of articles and works in psychology reporting on rational psychotherapy research reflects this sentiment. At the present time, the only psychotherapy that addresses itself as rationally oriented is the rational emotive therapy of Albert Ellis. Originally, his rational emotive therapy was called rational psychotherapy, but Ellis changed it because his colleagues argued that any rational therapy was in principle incapable of affecting patients' emotionalized behavior since a rational procedure would only reach the superficial levels of pa patients' thinking. In addition, Ellis rejected the rational therapy because he could not identify with philosophical rationalism or idealism since as a, quote, hard-headed empiricist, unquote, he obviously couldn't presuppose an anti-empirical worldview which holds that reason or the intellect, rather than the senses, is the true source of knowledge. Thus, Ellis's method was called rational without being a part of rationalism. 
For while Ellis did identify a number of irrational beliefs that sustain neurotic behavior, he did not trace them to their causes, and so did not reach those false underlying beliefs that pr produce irrationality. Mm -hmm. Do I have another one, Karen? Mm -hmm. Your time is. <coughs> Who, who's the author? <laughs> I want to be sure we get What's in God. Likely. Yeah, likely. Wrote it on stone. Socrates, one, two, three. But where, my dear Timaeus, is the fourth of our guest of yesterday, our host of today? Timaeus. Some sickness has befallen him, Socrates, for he would never have stayed away from our gathering of his own free will. Socrates, then the task of filling the place of the absent one falls upon you and our friends here, does it not? Timaeus, undoubtedly, and we shall do our best not to come short, for indeed it would not be at all, it would not at all, it would not be at all right. Yeah. Well, want to try being in the one? I forgot how that opens. <laughs> Let me refresh oh. the one. That's not being and the one. This is being the one. Being, being calm. Oh, no. right. Being right. Yeah. Calm is important. I remember that discussion. Mm -hmm. Being First one. one. Erotoma. A priestess from Pythagoras. How do you pronounce that? Piedma? Mm -hmm. Piedma. A priestess from Piedma is relating a story to a group of men and women. The atmosphere is intense yet relaxed. The tone is that of a serious discussion. Erotoma. <coughs> or Eratima. You have invited me to tell of my journey to Athens, but the journey itself was uneventful. So let me relate what I found to be of significance. For what was said there and the discussions that followed were of importance. They absorbed me fully and it continues to challenge me each time I tell the story. However, before I begin, I should first say that after that day in Athens, I sought out each of the participants and they recalled what was said and I went over it many times in order to be sure my account left, nothing, left out nothing of value. Let me finish the scene mm -hmm. one, the short scene <coughs> one. Well, after leaving our home in Piedna on the slopes of Mount Olympus and traveling south, we finally reached Athens and met Glaucon, Ariston's son, in the marketplace. He greeted us warmly and asked us the reason for our visit. I remarked that we had sought him out to find out if he could give us a full account of the visit of Parmenides of Alia, or if he could not, to refer us to someone who could. I went on to say that while we have some interest in philosophy, we at Piedna are too close to other things, and few of our fellows ever journeyed to Athens to get an accurate report of the event. And it appears also that you Athenians sometimes forget your obligation to inform us about what is being said and done in your city. Now, the author is Pierre Grimes. The tape work on it? The, the, the tape? I haven't been able to find a. Uh, Can at the college. Well, I'll check it out. And maybe they'll also be able to put it on a disc. No, I mean, I mean, uh, okay. They said they do it once. Okay, I'll find out about it. No. The poem? The play? The play. Yeah. It's a videotape. Mm -hmm. We videotaped it once. How long ago? With a temple. It's in the media center. Really? With a temple and, and, you know, and costumes. And How long ago? Music. Well, I don't know. 
Supposing we played a little before entering upon our serious concern and maintain that all things are striving after contemplation, looking to vision as their one end. And this, not merely being endowed with reason, but even the unreasoning animals, the principle that rules and growing things and the earth that produces these and that all achieve their purpose in the measure possible to their kind, each attaining vision and possessing itself of the end in its own way and degree, some things in entire reality, others in mimicry and in image, we would scarcely find anyone to endure so strange a thesis. But in a discussion entirely among ourselves, there's no risk in a light handling of our own ideas. Well, in the play of this very moment, am I engaged in the act of contemplation? Yes. I and all that enter this play are in contemplation. Our play aims at vision, and there is every reason to believe that child or man in sport or, or, or earnest is playing or working only towards vision, that every act is an effort towards vision, a compulsory act, which tends rather to bring vision down to outward things, and the act thought of as voluntary, less concerned with the outer, originate alike in the effort towards vision. That's from contemplation. Mm -hmm. I thought that's what you were going to give to that fellow today when he's asking about the distinction between meditation and contemplation. He can't get up from contemplation. That's good. <laughs> Coming off of this, that's what I thought I you were going to say. I enjoy learning the difference because that was something else I didn't know. What? That, that contemplation is a higher form of meditation. I thought it was even higher than that. <laughs> well, go on. I'd like to learn some more. Well, it's it's not... Isn't there a step difference the way potentially explains it? That uh, it's, well, it's when you become one with the thing. It's no longer a holding a concentration with an object. But it's it's becoming one with it. It's uh, so that's like holding to a problem, not losing it, or a, or a, <coughs> it's a question. Well, there's no no object and no yeah. You can't make it. Doesn't there's seem no, like you can make distinctions in that state. So there's a yeah. oneness with it. Yeah, right. No right. duality. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 At least the tangent, not this. Oh, look here. You know what we need? We forgot to do the one thing that would help us out. Ha! <laughs> How foolish. How are we going to judge? Oh, it's a measurement problem again. We always have measurement problems, you know that? See, there we are. Yeah. You have to go look at the charmides again. Right. Should we get a... Uh, Committee, you say, to do it? Yeah. Not until well. I get back. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> well, Natural right. chairman of the committee. <laughs> 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 okay. That's what I thought. Uh, let's, be uh, let's put it. Let's put it to a test. All right. Let's let's each kind of think about how we might decide this. I have a suggestion. Why don't we make a committee and have the committee decide and membership on that committee? must be from those people who didn't bring a book or recommend a book. Because we've already done a great deal, have we not? Good idea. Yeah. Right? And therefore it's only fair that we allow those people who weren't working so hard this evening to carry on that, that responsibility and therefore the work is distributed to somebody. It may be fair, but it may not be wise. <laughs> well, wait a minute. And if anybody disagrees with that proposition, that automatically means they're on the committee. <laughs> well, maybe it is a good idea. Wait a minute, as chairman of the committee. <laughs> I just 
I got a quote that I don't have an author or a, or a work for. I, I, oh, it's from yourself. Huh? You didn't. Go ahead. No, this one here. Uh, and this is a quote. This is a quote from UCI. This is, this is a quote. I have a lot of these. I have a lot of these. The self knowing soul must indeed be the entity most naturally. I think this is uh, like Salazar. I think it's Salazar. The self knowing soul must indeed be the entity most naturally equipped and conditioned for arranging about the bodiless unknown. For it is only a perception of seeing that journeys with confidence through an invisible world. In such a world, the distinguishing of reality from fantasy must, re must proceed from a consciousness which, distingu which distinguishes its origin from the objects of its contemplation. Indeed, there is no other measure by which it could find its way among the contents of its own being. It is only within the simplicity of its own ultimate reality that the self escapes the soul's deception. The view from the lonely, radiant abode of the self within the self is to see through the gateless gates the apparitions of multiplicity beyond, and to reason among them as a ghost among the brilliant past beauties, less brilliant than its own darkening breath of being. This one breathes breathless, breathes breathless sees sightless, and hears the tones played to the rhythm of the spheres by the artist without string or reed, who plays mindless the one with the sound of spent kindling and vaporless smoke. Salazar. Who the hell is Salazar? I, I don't know the name of the work, Salazar. Is that UCI, though? No? That's, it's, um, it's, uh, not Salazar. Many of, many of the phrases are lifted from the hand of creation on the great Vega of the hand of Many of them are listed right out of the Pegasus and Plato, too. <laughs> you know, after the shadows here, uh, <laughs> You know, at the, the gate end of the gate. Well, too, draw its architects from itself, right? The gateless gate. Where was that? Where did we see that? Was that in the... That's the Zen. That's the Chan Zen lingo. Chan. Chan. Breathlessly. You know. Yeah, see sight. Yeah, see sight. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Strung a whole bunch of them together. Mm -hmm. Sightless sight. See it. <laughs> Sounds well, well, we, should decide. we should decide so we can get started next week, you know? That's right. Wait a minute. How about that committee meeting right now? Yeah, if we're going to waste the whole meeting, let's at least get it. Would it not be agreed that that committee should at least have people who are observers? Well, Bill, why don't you call the meeting door? Okay. All right. Who's in it? The meeting's called to order. Who's in it? Uh, Sandy. Sandy. And uh, Sarah. Sarah. Uh, Steve. I guess I know. That's about it. Uh, well, he brought works. Paul brought works. Yeah. Paul Gina was the only other one that did say anything. What did Gina bring? Gina was the only one that did, just said anything. Besides oh, I didn't. I, I, I guess I know. What did you say? I brought the voices for us. Right. She had. She she voiced an original position on that one. Ten her turn. Oh, I was. <laughs> At first, it was I'll flip a coin, take any of the wrong ones. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> and then what was the, first the second? Yeah. I'll leave the first one. Yeah. What was the second one? What was your first choice? Uh, Peter. Peter. Tanias. Tanias. Yay. Well, I think we need a principal. <laughs> I'm going to throw this out, being the chairman. To the lot. I think we need a principal to go on. You know? I mean, that's me. We could measure with can we, can we link this with what we've been doing? Is that a, is there a, is there a progression? Is that the kind of principle we want to use? Or use a principle of topics? Is it a topic or thing? Or, you know, what topic do you want to study? Well, they said they were going to do Damascus as soon as it came out, so I don't know if yeah, going that's, that that's later, all right? That's already put aside. The study, when we get the direction. I think the time is Yeah. I'm already doing Plotinus, so I wanted to do something new. Yeah, why don't we do some cash? We're going to get mixed up with Chitty. Oh, because I'm doing it. Yeah, right. What about opening up that big trash mirror work again? Yeah, yeah. Pratyavishbaru. Vishbara Pratyavishbaru. The Xerox one is the one. Flower garland. Yeah, that's a real nice one.
plug on the other half Yeah, it's only a third of it. Yeah. That's the same way with Plotinus. That's the same way with Plotinus. We don't have the whole section on being. We don't get it all for a while. There's the for opening three well, then why sections. Being the one? The opening three sections in the six volumes. Are uh, are on the kinds of being one, on the kinds of being two, on the kinds of being three. Yeah. I. Well, there's so much we can do. It's just what a banquet, huh? What a banquet. Original. I didn't bring. What it are all. you asking for here? What do you got at cash room? Yeah. Why don't we do play of consciousness? Who's that? That's good. Sure, it's a nice word. I like it myself. Nice work, yeah. I like it so much. I wind up getting to take them home. Yeah, you got it. We could do a work on um, modern algebra. Sure. Would you agree? See how mathematics is a model of intelligence? Right on a lower level. What's the level? committee going to do? The committee is going to decide what the start next The interdependence of the theorems for the science? I mean, because I, I mean, because I thought it might not be a wise choice, I was appointed to the committee. You can't open your eyes and mouth around it. You were appointed to the committee because you said that Sarah and I were not a wise choice. I just said that. Oh, what? You could be perfect. Yeah. I'm glad you drive a gun with you. I got one in some cases that's going to put me up for a couple of years. Can you get the blue one? Okay. You need to zero off the blue one. If you make a couple of extra zero off the blue one, two pages for Barbara for the most. Sure. You know, it comes on the field about... Oh, yeah, the wild one. Yeah, it's possible. Sure. That's what we're saying. Because we want to start... Let's do the second hypothesis. No, the uh, Proclus, Elements of Theology, all the propositions on the intelligence gods and the divine he heads. In the back of the vault to heaven. The uh, upper ether and the field. Uh, the Dharma Datu out of channel. This work is their Bible. Okay? And the I should have shorter names. Right. But in it is this paragraph that I thought I'd read. <laughs> in this world, there are some devoted people who are undeveloped in reflection and have not taken pains in studying difficult works no. like logic and dialectics but who nevertheless aspire after Samvesa, which is the highest teaching, with the highest Lord which blossoms forth with the descent of the Shakti. For their sake, the truth of the teachings of Ishvara Pratyagnaja is being explained briefly. So what are they talking what about? Pala Karya is the name of a dude who did the major work called Ishvara Pratyabhija. And he has provided a ready and easy manual for those who are inclined as the result of divine grace to know the main principles of this Ishvara Pratyabhija. We can't read the difficult word. But can't read the difficult word. That's this word. So this is the short course, the easy course into the philosophy. The main one, the Ishvara Pratyatmaja, is the one we used. They don't have it. Right? They don't have it. The Siddha people don't have it? So they're short course people. They're more into Shakti. 
grace or devotion or emotion. Or well, that's so yeah. Not understanding. I mean, like, they don't. They they can't talk about it in in uh, discourse, and they don't have those right. kinds of under. They can't model it in their understanding. Then. So what? How do you understand that? Yeah. yeah. Is that right? That's exactly what they're doing. Huh. So when Ken King oh, finally, after a rather curious and circuitous route, discovered the work translated. And we ran it down and made Xerox copies of it. Then we did several sections of it. So, if we go back to do some of the cashmere shields, you'd have to say, which one do you want to do? Do you want to do go back to the one we were in before, or get to the short course, or the model of their universe, which is the Spandaka Rupika? or the Shiva Sutras, which is another basic standard work of theirs? How far up do they go with this bond? How far up? Second and third. Yeah, it's, it, it doesn't operate between the second and the first? That's difficult. For a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> that transition is a real thick one. Like well, in this system, they even announced the difficulty if I can find it. So they go like intelligent soul? Yeah. Is that where they go? Yeah. We don't have Plotinus' model, you know. You know, we could do Plotinus and all of the stuff Plotinus quotes. We could do Plotinus. Yeah, and all the stuff he quotes. Mm. Like he strings some pearls through uh, that volume five, you know. That, uh, that really fun. Well, okay, committee. Well, it's just the fact that, you know, this this way, if I chose something other than what I'm doing, then I would do something else, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I've never read these works. I don't know, you know, what, what Proclus has in between all these pages. There's another volume to this, too. There may be some beautiful modeling constructs in there, you know, that I might, you know, I may never see if I don't read that work. Then again, maybe bunk. Yeah, we did. We did only uh, first 60, I don't know. What was that? Theology, elements of theology. Yeah, we did the first. We didn't get on to his part, where, right. where he really gets yeah. into uh, in applying those principles. Right? Yeah. We just we did the principles. Yeah. So, so yeah. what are you going to do? Go quickly over that again or something? Keep going? Keep going? Well, no, I just have to read it and look at, see which, you know. He's modeling out the intelligence there on certain levels. Sure. I guess, I guess the thing I see is building a model for the intelligence is why. 
Yeah, but if they're talking about the same thing, why would I want to do it? It's fun. I want it modeled in my uh, thought. How about channel? You want to put that channel? Channel, yeah. But uh, those transitions are really important. Well, <laughs> so lots of, lots of. Now I can go and get a cup of coffee, but you guys can decide, right? Oh boy, what a, what a nice thing. How's it working out? Good. I didn't have it right the first time. Forgot to put it on channel three. But that's with the tuner effect. What are the things on it that uh are they in anything different? Things on what? On on like you were mentioning. Oh, there's just some different features. Uh, the volume four may be good to do that. Not soul. major. We should put that down. Yeah, volume mm -hmm. four for time. Yeah, on the soul. You know. It's a good idea. Mm -hmm. It really is, because the problem is it's a great one. Isn't there a perception of You hit that mm -hmm. through the That's intelligence. Yeah. yeah. But the soul is really a great problem. Well, so that's the problem we're playing with. Work on soul being well, that's, a, that's one of the biggest problems. That's philosophy. Isn't it? Part it's part philosophy. It, so we should, we should, we should do that. That's when he's got wisdom. You know what he says? He says, wisdom is you see it and you see it as a wisdom. Yeah. Uh, Makes sense to say the bold, clean, clear. Yeah, and you'll see it. It's luminous, it's light. It's, uh, the, the thing he does is like the one is ineffable, it's totally transcendent, right? And the contact for, between the intelligence and the one, he describes in terms of touch or contact. But it's like it's quiet at that stage. It's, the multiplicity incurs in the intelligence, it's not in the one, when it comes down. You know, I'm the Yeah, that brings to mind what happened. The Atheus is more unlike the Atheus. is more unlike the Atheus. The Atheus is more unlike the Atheus. The Atheus is more unlike the Atheus. The well, to wisdom. I like to the know. Agent? I don't know. Like I said, I like to understand the difference between death and enlightenment. Or wisdom. I don't know. Wisdom issue. I don't know. Let's see. It would have to be where. I don't know. Let's see. It would have to be where. There must be a dialogue on this. Did we do this? By the God. Wisdom? Yeah. Take most of them. What God? It didn't have a dialogue on this. Yeah, I'm familiar with that quote. I'm just trying to think if there is any place that contradicts that. I thought that's what you're asking. I, you know, the only place I can think of is to know this is wisdom is a true and genuine source. That quote. Well, in the, um, you know, two patterns in the unchangeable nature of things. That is divine happiness and that is godless misery. We said that wisdom was Christianity. It was wisdom. Yeah. And it was interesting this weekend talking about the aging. Yeah. Yeah, there were the questions. Whether I thought about it. We don't have the WCS right now. This one is somewhere. Okay. Yeah, it's a good problem. Sure. Because you've got to rise up from the soul. You sit in a. It's like the intelligence, is, the soul is, for him, is in the intelligence. You know, the highest part, like the people, is the pilot of the soul. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, the highest part. Yeah, that's, that's in the intelligence. Sending to that, or however you do that as a practice. Mm -hmm. So she's a, yeah, a question. Why is he
think the question was was the Socrates the Did Socrates give birth to this? In the theages? In the theages? I don't I don't I don't think I don't know. I guess he could have. What where? If so, or what is it that he did? But that's what makes you feel weird. Then that would mean that he is. If he did get to do something, then that would be. But you can't. What does it mean? The qualifications for midwives. Start, set, start, you know, set out the way to bear it. Of course, being the one of Mary, yeah, apparently. Unless well, he played a midwife on himself. What's up, Steve? That was the question. So he said he is. Oh, yeah, that was. What is that for? I thought he was a midwife. Does he bring to birth many things that he has? Already more than he had in him? Oh, no. It was. Well, if he wasn't. Oh, okay, you're right. If he never gave birth, I'm waiting to hear the question. Okay. Then he could not be a midwife because midwives were past bearing, but they did give birth. Well, why did it say? Human nature is too weak to acquire an art of which it has no experience. I'm just trying to figure out. He said he had no experience of wisdom ever. So you've got to talk about what did he say he did not give birth to? Wisdom. Right. Yeah, but I'm just trying to wisdom the word remember that why is the, true the, invention the co- yeah. puzzle that was presented. Theatetes. Theatetes. So Socrates <coughs> was not like a midwife in that he was barren. Any wise invention, I think it says. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going Greek, 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 Greek. I didn't have Greek when I read this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was not, um, he never gave birth to wisdom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But <laughs> midwives you guys do up with? give birth, but they're what past bearing before well, they become right. midwives. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm thinking of the Theotetus. They have had, had to have had the experience in order to be midwives. Well, but uh, we were thinking that, and we were thinking right at, I thought, suggested doing sections of Plotinus on the soul now, and then doing intelligence later. So, I can't remember mm-hmm. the question that was asked. But the Theotetus is and Socrates didn't have the sort of experience giving birth. Fair play. He's sterile in point of Sophia's. He has no Sophia. Right, he yeah. asked the question so should we say that he should be able to uh, Should we say he's a midwife? Socrates? Mm-hmm. Sure. I was just trying to answer this question. Mm-hmm. Anyway, going back to your point, and then mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. there was. Yes. Yes, that's how it is. Yeah, that's right. You got the book? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, Jim? I know you didn't have to find a few things to remember, but it was fun to remember, fun to see that uh, Socrates didn't get <coughs> into the wisdom. Theatetus or the Theages. 
What do you recall? Windex. Or? Um, what else is he doing? There's more? I don't know the word. I'd have to look at the Greek and see what, what he calls him now. But what do you remember him saying in general? Windex or what else? Let's see. Truth? Reality. Reality or family? family. Mm -hmm. How false. Do you guess false. False phantoms or phantom. True phantom. No true life. True birth. Um, true. What's the judgment at the end? Yeah. So what do we say, Theotius? Yeah. Um, what does our our midwife's art declare? Which isn't plural. It's not art. Yeah, that all your books. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, did, what would you that, call um, that he gave birth to Danny? What I call that? What I call that? Games? I sometimes call it. Views of what's beautiful and what's good. That more? more? the question of what what were you what was given birth to. Uh huh. And could you give birth to wisdom? Uh huh. Uh huh. Is that something you could give birth to. Well it's not it, it comes from the one the way that I've always heard. Right. So say it comes from something. Right. It's not first. It's it's uh, yeah. I mean wisdom isn't another name for the good or one, is it? The one? The wise one. <laughs> I've heard that it isn't. Plotinus says it isn't. But I don't know. But that's what he says. You know. Because wisdom is, resides in the intelligence of him and it's fully uh, uh, in act, actuality, active actuality. Uh, it's real. So where does wisdom fall down the ladder? I'll fall Second. Down. Second four. to it. Second. All right, so wisdom, intelligence. That's no, no, that's in the intel. That is intelligence. All right, that's, that's what I meant. Wisdom, dash, intelligence, the same. And yeah. The, all right. Yeah. That's what he talks about. You mean you don't find it apart from intelligence? No, no, but, but on the intelligence is the one, right? Well, uh, that's what he says. I mean, you want a demonstration of that? Let's see. <laughs> okay. All right. Where's the, how does he argue that? Does he? <laughs> yes, he says. Yes, he says. I don't know an argument for the distinction that it's not, it's not, uh, tran doesn't transcend the intelligence. You know. I don't even understand the intelligence. Mm -hmm. I wish I could go there. Yeah, and live there. After we get that bus going down yeah. there, then we'll use the bus for the five park the center. For the intelligence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be nice. Well, Next? Yeah, the greater vehicle. A dual purpose. The greater vehicle. Just ride it up to the ball. What What is the purpose? Why don't we go there first? Get a winged but chariot. Says he, like, well, Pyrus says science only four times Truly, in five major. Like major. I see this is what the, uh, what is the, what is the purpose seventh the oxygen. Oxygen. No, do seventh oxygen. Mm. Uh, play no so look so well, here's to be some interesting with the Atias. am I correct in that? circle huh? yeah right it's not the law What's happened with our committee? I don't know. We, we, said, we, we decided. decided. Yeah. Yeah. They, decided. they decided. What did you guys decide? They did. They said they okay. just did. Yeah. What? We decided that it didn't matter if it would come up on Friday. We could just double it up on the abstentions for a while. We did both interest. Double up on the abstentions. We have multiple birds. 
Okay, then yeah, I'd I say, uh, if that's where you want to go, we're going to have to be very careful with that section that we Xeroxed. And making sure that what's on the left part, lobe is on the right part. That is to say, whether the points he's making in English are really over there in the Greek. Well, we do that with anything we get into, though, on the lobe. <laughs> that's right. That's true, but this is this is a special important section. What's the, what's the quote? Well, it deals with the issue of Gina brings up. And in different translations, he is described as uh, beyond giving birth in the sense that he never was capable of giving birth mm -hmm. because he was such a... Sterile. 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 He's without issue. And the lobe. Right. Yeah. 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 In another translation, it's Sterile. And sterile so and point of wisdom is a true reproach. Here it is, right here, down by the right. Six lines or seven lines. Oh, and the key issue is going to be whether or not it says uh, whether the context means that he has never given birth to anything. Yeah, but we are whether the goddess has restrained him from giving birth to anything. Not, and not merely, and we're not only, we're not restricted to wisdom. Oh, you mean like he's never even given any wind eggs, never given birth to any wind eggs? No, 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 that's right. That's right. Well, that couldn't be, I mean, in, this, in the but part But in one translation, that's the way it goes. That's why I say, to yeah. deal with this, we're going to have to... Yeah, it's opposing a lot yeah, of Yeah, because he came up with some examples of where he has. Yeah, yeah sure. Certainly, Parmenides is a good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Diotima says, Diotima. <laughs> says, don't you know that, that there is something besides good and evil? Yes. Yeah, so something in between? No. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Right opinion. Wow. There's something between beautiful and ugly? Yeah. Uh-huh. So then, uh, yeah, does it come by nature? <laughs> Didn't they start out the dialogue with Theotetus, as I called it? Right? Socrates would ask what the... I was wondering about wisdom, well, what the difference between wisdom and knowledge is. If we go through the Theotetus, though, shouldn't we really give Rod that whole section on the Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's vote, because no. we don't want to. No, we don't no, no, come on, it's not bad. Kang should do it. <laughs> Kang should do it. Oh, that's, a, that's a good thought. He's been working on it. I done it for him, but then I that lost most part of it. Yeah. He's, he, you better get it back. Refresh your memory. Yeah, it's because he had the word, he had a, 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 he had a, a wrong idea of the word of uh, commensurate. Right? Yeah. Commensurate. I hate to admit it, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Well, I think Pierre should do it. I, mean, I, no, I think it's I think it's fair to put it to a vote. Do you think Yang should do it? Yeah. 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 I had learned one from him and I forgot that. Listen, the higher side of it's more fun. When he's not willing? He's willing. Let's he find out. Are you willing? Are you willing? Well, there. Oh, there. Well, if you're willing. Well, if you're willing. Well, then. Point is, you'll get it by Good. Right. Okay, then that's good. Then next Tuesday we go into the ATDS. Yes. Yes. Um, Barbara, what do you got? No, I was looking up something else. Oh. But we should have thrown it open for argumentation. I think. Maybe, we, maybe it was already for um, special pleas. Special pleas. <laughs> There's still well, time for special pleas. Is it? Is sure. it? Special pleas for the time AS. Do you? And I and, and I really like the idea of doing the, the Plotinus on the intellect as a unity. I mean, that really appeals to me. And I didn't say that because I was thinking we were each presenting one each his own, and there were counter arguments against doing Plotinus from Rod since he's worked into it and would like to add another study. And I can understand that, but for myself, I really like the idea of doing a, a you know a unity from Plotinus and especially one on the intellect since it's kind of a a question that I that I have right now about what, what, it, what its nature is and how one would uh, demonstrate that he had grasped it, which I would assume Plotinus will be doing. So that's what I mean by a special plea. I want to do Plotinus. I think it, I'll change my book. Thank you. Why did you offer some prayers? <laughs> <laughs> you can't change
I think it's worth just, just reading it on everybody on their own. I mean, I really appreciate it, just reading it, right? On our own. Thing. This is yeah. when we have the time to read things. Well, That's I mean, why we have these well, I We're not as fortunate. Oh, well, well, doing it on Friday nights may take, you know... What about Wednesday night and Thursday night? It may take a month. I can do the reading. It's just that I need help to get through. You work eight hours. You sleep eight hours. Well, you mark your question. You say you love it, don't you? I don't. Right? Find that's getting ready to go to work and coming home from work. I thought that was yeah, that's <laughs> true. I, I put about 12 into it. Well, 6 to 6. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know, you know, there's places that are rich I want to explore now, like the whole idea of the model and the feverish, you know, that, that uh, remembering. Mm -hmm. Right? That's, you know, I see that over and over again, you know, you know coming up, that idea of. Of, uh, <laughs> it's like, you know, don't, don't while well, you see something beautiful, <laughs> like, like um, <laughs> what is it that you, what is it, you know, in terms of the is, is it not that you are through memory again, uh, through the likeness of something, you're reminded of something else, which you want to be held, right, from the, from yeah. the gods, right? That model seems to be real important as a meditation. How do you divide in that state? You know, like all the time when you're looking within, everything is functioning as a likeness to remind you of something else. You know, something higher. Now, how do you get to the higher? Yeah, so moving, you know, being, continually being reminded of beauty, you know. That's a nice fact. I don't know how to do it. That's a nice fact. Well, that's our new thing. And ultimately, the intelligence functions that way too, to point to something higher. When you get a next day, you got that. That was the thing I was telling you about your logo. She has that logo on her. And if I understood her correctly, it was a dream in which there was a bright, luminous state, and behind that was something higher. That's what the circle represented. And that's what Spotinus is. You know, that's the way he's talking about the intelligence. It's luminous. It's bright. It's transparent. It's a multiplicity, but it's a unified multiplicity somehow, and I don't know. <laughs> and uh, but yet, don't let that distract you. You got to go beyond that. There's something higher. Right. He says, uh, you know, you more there's something higher than unification. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, one. <laughs> well, shit. What is one? If, I mean, what is unification? If is it? Well, that's a many. He that's says a many. it's a many. That's, that's things brought said. together. Intelligence is a many for him. <laughs> We're talking about a homogeneous one. But it's not, not a minute, it's separate. You know? It's like the yeah. same thing knowing itself, turning back on itself. Every part is reflected in every other part. It doesn't know in succession, it doesn't know in time, it knows simultaneously, altogether whole. It's that kind of a state of that they talk about as a luminous light state of mind. And that's knowing for him. That's where knowledge is in that state. Well, that's where knowledge is in the Republic, isn't it? Yeah, Same yeah, light. I think so. The idea that, that yeah, firmly said in the region when truth and real beings Six brightly point. shine. Sure. All right. And we have Paul's favorite. Uh, uh, look here, it looks oh, like... Nice. Right. How many go along with Barbara? Why don't we do it after the... Why don't we do it after the... Mm -hmm. Three, three. It seems like it should be the other way around. State the principle. Well, you know. Go ahead. Why? Plotinus should precede the Theotetus? Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. <coughs> it's more aesthetic for me. I just <laughs> want to get into Plotinus. <laughs> well, get into him early. I will. Yeah, just read it. Boy. It's terrible. I wish the other volumes were out, man. It's just, it's like, you know, it's, you're in a good story. <laughs> and they leave you. You hate to see it in? Is that it? You hate to get to the end of the book? <laughs> what do you, they have five and six? Five and six are still to come. I mean, five is like, oh. But they have one, two, and three? Yeah. Three, four, and five. They have six and seven. They do it in seven volumes. So they have four and five? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Four is soul, five is intelligence being. Are those out, Ron? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess I have one, two, and three. Yeah. yeah. 
You can get them in six days on your Visa I card, Bill. One, two, three. You call them up. I won't ask you this time whether or not you're answering so. Oh, but it is. <laughs> I better go answer it. Why do you have to answer it? You look like you're a lot of fun, wouldn't you? <laughs> One time I told her it's her phone and she says, it's not, it's the tape recorder. And now I saw it. I know. Not the, yeah, you know how you feel right yes, now? It is. Well, you can tell. Cheerful. You know how you feel right now? How I felt ever since about noon today. Hmm. You mean you after from around here or what? <laughs> oh, after the Jesus Christ class. Mm hmm no, after discovering what Q is. What Q is? <laughs> or what oh, it's not. Q is. Yeah. <laughs> that's how he understands <laughs> Parmenides, too, that quote, to think and to be. That's the, that's the intelligence. That's noesis. Noose. It's noose for him. Intelligence. It's not thinking. Oh, oh, noose. It's all noose. No, no. It's higher than DNA. Yeah, it's sure. higher than discourse. Well, so is not. Yeah, probably it's the same way. Yeah, it's higher than the talk. No, that is intelligence. It is intelligence. And so whatever it is, it's not the time. No, it's a package deal. Wisdom, knowledge, intelligence, being. That's all, yeah, yeah, For those of you who are going into the intellect, jump in there ahead of time. Don't be your reading in the last moment. This is the way it should be, all right? In the chronological ordering of Plotinus, it is said that these four represent his work on the intellect. Since these are chronological, it's not the ordering that Porphyry uses. This is where you'll find, respectively, each one of those. Yeah, the whole discussion is in the first volume in Pulfire's introduction. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you read O'Brien or something like that, you know, that only has selections, and you want to know what's the natural grouping of them, you can check the first volume of Plotinus, and he has all of the groupings here. In Papyri's commentary, too, there's a list of the order in which they were written. And then right at the end of those, there is the number in which they appear in the present form, which is real nice. The beginning of the Yeah, one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. No, in Papyrus, done in that list, but right in the text, in Papyrus commentary. Oh, yeah. 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 How he chose to arrange them. Yeah, that's also important. He was 54, so he wanted it to reflect his birthday. So. Good way to order things. Guys, <laughs> So he divided them up into 54 parts. Six. Yeah. He did. Yeah. 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 Did he break it into? I don't know. Birthday. <laughs> he also wrote two works on the Iliad and the Odyssey. Questions uh, that you can ask of the Iliad and the Odyssey. <laughs> None of them are in English. He wrote a lot. That guy. Carl pulled him up on the TLT out at Irvine. God, he wrote all kinds of stuff. Are we doing the, the lovers on Friday? Yeah. No. Are we okay. doing what? Lovers. 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 So if you're working quick, quick one. I wish I could. We know how much money you're <laughs> salting away. Are you kidding? I'm putting we it heard, here. we have heard that you stop off and send it and need it and put it down. Huh. I wish I did. Well, that's what you're, that's the words out. Well, if you start Sandy's giving you tips. Row, let me know. <laughs> Sandy's <laughs> giving you tips. She's we got know. a little dime on She gets yeah. them from Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> let me tell you. I wish I could. 
Me too. Okay. What time is it? With a sweepstake. I heard there was a guy being. Exactly. <laughs> and Rosie Clark. Oh, we don't want to overwork. We don't want to. That's yeah. true. Mm. Go beyond it. You're working tomorrow? <laughs> I said, thank okay. you. So I can't find you. Oh, you're more than that. 9.26. Sorry, I don't need to. I don't mind the break if I can make it. <laughs> but I do. Ha I have to go to court in the morning and I have two pieces the next day, so I'll see if yeah. I get down. Well, I'm oh, eating the bottom score. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if I do, I'll get away at 12.30 and be there at 1. I have to leave at 2.30. Mm. Yeah, Great descriptions when the soul's filled with light. Yeah. Do you think they're lovely now? Yeah, the end of contemplation as well. In that? Stainless shrine. Yeah, I mean. Radiant, resplendent, pure light. Yeah, beautiful stuff. <laughs> it's just. God, he's a high flyer, isn't he? Mm. <laughs> Seems to me he's, he's the guy that goes to St. Augustine, Augustine to go to Christian. Okay. Oh, really? He gave him a problem. He solved his metaphysical no, problem by going into Plotinus that allowed him to become a Christian. Can't figure out where that allowed him to become a Christian? How did that work? Is that curious? Yeah. 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 I thought I could yeah. remember we talked yeah. about yeah. that one day. Guys, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm sitting on my bed. I think the thing is just around the microwave. Oh, Plotinus. I get those guys mixed up. I'll have to read. <laughs> they don't know. Then you won't have any trouble. Yeah, they don't have any trouble. Well, you can, you know, suggest it to them. Several meditations in there, doesn't he? <laughs> several meditations throughout. Like, so often he gets into, and how do you accomplish <laughs> this <laughs> kind of talk? Yeah. All the time. All the time. Yeah, yeah. There's a number of them. Yeah. 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 Okay. Those would be fun yeah, to focus on too, mm -hmm. just as practice as a practice. Yeah. <laughs> and so, what have we decided to do? The Aetius and lovers. Oh, good. Then we can have a uh, chance to get the foot time. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Should find out when the others are coming out. Yeah, they're probably done. Do you know what I did? Do you know what I did? Ha ha ha. Uh -huh. you, do? you know that uh, when you were at the Vedanta Society, you said you saw a complete translation of Plotinus. Yeah. Yeah. I got Irvine to buy that translation for four hundred and fifty bucks. They sold it for four hundred. No, no, I, it's the that's available. It's you know who did that translation? Guthrie. That's right. That's the that's the. I got Irvine to buy it. Why? <laughs> Why? So we can Xerox. Let's well, Xerox that. Right. Right. We got the load. You know the mechanic? Yeah. The mechanics lovely. Well, I don't so think not, so. Not, huh? not from the way you were talking to me last week. You say, look at this. This is Kantian. Yeah, it is. It's all Kantian language. I was struggling through it. Yeah. Waiting for these others to come. Do they have it now? What? <laughs> <laughs> they might. I should call Eddie and find it's out. Or something. Yeah. I, I, they said you'd order it. Yeah, 450. <laughs> so I got to get the so tailor. They got let's the tailor. get a nice. Let's get them. Let's get some they real nice Xeroxes out of it. Good paper. Yeah. Good binding. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to be. A, I don't know. I have to look at it. The lobes are great. Armstrong, you know, Silver Sunnis. I was telling Barbara's moral sense quite often. You know, <laughs> but it's consistent. You know, given the work we've done already that uh, in the Republican stuff on a lot of these terms. It, Okay. God, I gotta do it. What? The work is done in the Republic on some of these terms. Look, we know you have all the tape. <laughs> <laughs> we know that. <laughs> 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 yeah. It was one of the last days. Yeah. 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 Ye
archives. Someday, the someday archives. we're gonna, we're gonna. The rumor will, will <laughs> be out. Archives. Gina is missing, and then we'll be go on and on, and then we'll get a postcard from her. She's gone to a cave in India. Right, with all the tapes. Right. 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 Instead of chanting, she's sitting there with the tapes. She's probably going to do that when she retires. It's been the next. So next life, she'll be a tape recorder. Pythagorean, perhaps. Yeah, Pythagorean. Trying to walk around remembering all the tapes. When you hear when you hear the tapes, you better have a good memory. Yeah, you keep playing them over and over. That's great. Even no. the new system of running electrodes into the memory. Alas, 